folks, we're demonstrating today the OxyGreen Blaster and Bedbug Destruct system a, on a single family home someplace in Ohio. And this house was infested close to a year ago. The homeowner claims that she brought home bedbugs on a mattress that they purchased uh, in one of the major downtown urban areas. And nevertheless, they've been combating them for over a year. They've tried uh, traps, uh, bombs, and sprays, and none of it has seemed to uh, stop it, stop the bed bugs. So what we're going to do today is set up the system. We're going to do an inspection first, show you where the bed bugs are actually hiding, and then we're going to go through and do a complete treatment. Uh, and we'll follow up with an interview in a few days after our treatment, so you can see the results of this test. Well, folks, we're here to show you how we're going to apply the natural bed bug egg killer. This is the second layer in our three-step process that's patent pending for killing bed bugs in one application in the field in situ. And what we've got here is our powerful water-based essential oil active product. Folks, this is a product that was developed by one of the greatest minds in the game, uh, Mr. Lanny Langenfelter. He, he ran Z-Bart Industries in the 70s. He was the, one of the head formulators of the rodenticides at Eaton Industries in the 80s. And he started his own uh, pesticide bottling company in the 90s. And over the last 13 years, he's developed a world famous line of essential oil-based products for pets, for homes, and for pest control. And in this product, we have nothing but natural oils from like cinnamon and peppermint and lemongrass and geranium. This is safe enough to drink, folks, but it is absolutely lethal to the bed bug eggs and even to any adult bed bugs. We proved in our testing at our lab that uh, two minutes was enough to get a direct spray kill and a vapor-based kill is achieved in, in just under between six and nine minutes from the vapors alone. But uh, we're, we're going to show you a little trick that we like to use before we go in or before we go back into our vehicles on any uh, bed bug infested either inspection or treatment. Uh, these guys make me have the heebie-jeebies, folks. I don't know about you. So what we like to do is fog a little bit onto our feet and ankles. And that will guarantee that we get no hitchhikers coming for a ride. It's always a good idea to shake the product well. And it's a pretty small house. So we're all, we'll use between 10 and 15 ounces on this job. Some of you may prefer to use a thermal fogger for this uh, part of the process, but we are old friends of the ultra low volume foggers from our mold remediation business, and we prefer this. That's why we send one with every system. But you do get a little better coverage out of the uh, smoker particles. It's your preference, folks. You all own the system, and it's yours to use the way you see fit. If you follow the steps, you'll get the effective result every time. Well, I know for you trained bug guys, this is not something that's going to bother you or that you'll even do. But for me, because I'm an inventor and not a bug killer by trade, what I'm going to do is prevent any quick critters from coming home. And I like to just fall out my ankles, my legs, and my arms because I do a lot of inspections and I don't want any of those eggs to come home with me and get to my family. Just a little trick, takes a few seconds. It's something we do every time. As you know, uh, doing your inspections is one of the most important part of any bed bug treatment. And you can see in this uh, project that we're treating today, there are the evidence of the bugs. And this guy is uh, actually moving. So these are this is a live bed bug infestation. There's some carcasses here. And you'll find this is pretty common 
in bed bug jobs. And so the most important thing is to identify the main areas of colonization, where the nesting areas are. If you can identify where they're laying a lot of the eggs, that's great, but sometimes the females go away to lay their eggs. So it's just important to note the areas if you've got heavier concentrations in your wall cavities or whatnot, you're definitely going to want to take off your outlet covers prior to the treatment to help the gas get into the voids and also for your crack and crevice treatment. Uh, this is bedroom number two in this uh, infestation that we're treating here with the OxyGreen Blaster and Bed Bug Destruct system. And in our second bedroom, we can already see uh, blood spots and dead carcasses where they've been smashing these bugs. And then as you look in the interior of here, we've got lots of blood spotting. This room does not have any active visible crawlers that we've seen. That just means that they're hiding because there was some commotion here as the family was getting out of the home. But this type of clutter in this type of home, home is real typical for these houses that are loaded with these bed bugs. You know, the way that this customer claims that she got it is she bought a secondhand uh, mattress. And it started about a year ago. They've been through the mill, bought all the uh, over-the-counter uh, bombs and sprays, and they've sprayed and sprayed and sprayed, and they just can't get rid of them. There's a colony right here in the couch. This is the same infestation. There's the dead skin casings and just eggs by the thousands. The couches are a real common area for the bed bugs to hide. We're gonna put our gas machine right up the rear end. But we're continuing our inspection here of this uh, house that we're treating. And you'll see that there is a bed bug defense uh, bed bug trap on a couch. Now we just showed you the other parts of this couch where the bed bugs are actually hiding deep inside and there's lots of bed bugs right there and we're just less than a foot from the trap and so folks this is the type of reason that the bed bug system is so important. You see all those bed bugs under my thumb? That's just a foot from this bed bug trap. And those are the kind of areas you really need to pay attention to and and fog to make sure we're killing all those eggs. And in this house, we're gonna shove the arse end of one of our machines down into this couch so we can literally fill this whole couch with massive gas. And we'll, we'll focus some of the gas from our big blowers uh, in this room to get it to really high kill concentrations. So folks, when you're setting up your equipment, what you're going to do to each and every machine is rely on your best friend, what I call the error-proof spin dial timer. We sell this timer with every one of our ozone equipment. This is a outdoor, heavy-duty, waterproof timer. And the reason I like it is because it has a spin dial like an egg timer. There's no pins to push. There's no complicated buttons to set. And folks, I could build a timer into any of our ozone generators. But in my experience using ozone equipment over the last 15 years, the, last, the, the thing that was consistent with every machine is the timers all went bad. The more complex circuitry you put inside the ozone generator itself, the more subject it is to ozone oxidative degradation. And because this timer is built to withstand water, it's also very, very good at resisting ozone gas. So in order to set this timer, it's so absolutely simple. You simply switch the timer to the hour setting. In this case, we're going to set it for six hours. And then what I'll do is I'll go outside and I will start the timer using the remote control. And when that happens, the machine turns on and off. Stop the timer with the remote, start it with the remote. It's that simple and it'll run for six hours. We'll let this uh, system run for six hours, we'll come back and we'll go over the next application, killing those bed bug eggs. So folks, uh, we've done our inspection of this couch and we found that it is literally infested. So what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, one of our BioBlaster Rugged Pro 2Xs and our duct hose attachment and we're actually going to force ozone gas down the inside of this couch. 
and that'll get the gas on the inside. The whole room will be surrounded on the outside. And we're, we're going to literally eradicate the bugs from the couch using uh, this unique attachment for our awesome, powerful ozone generator. There we go. So we are now down inside the cavity with this machine. We'll set the timer with the rest of the ozone generators and this couch will be being flooded on the inside and the outside with the gas. So folks, one of the first treatments of treating bed bugs utilizing the gas essential oil uh, natural dust combination is we really want to increase the rate of respiration of the bugs. One of the rules of structural fumigation is the volume of fumigant is based on the temperature. And by simply increasing the temperature in the home to as high as you can get it comfortably with a normal thermostat, 8085, you can drastically increase the rate of respiration of the bed bugs during the treatment and therefore decrease treatment time. And it makes sure that at every phase they're getting big doses, whether it be the ozone or the vapors from the essential oils. And that's a deadly combination. So what we like to do is we like to set the fan, instead of having it on the auto position, we want to use this fan of the blower inside the furnace to move the air throughout the entire structure. So we're going to take the fan from the auto setting to the on setting. And that gets this gas moving and circulating throughout this house. We've got the system from cool passed off to the full-on heat setting, and now we're increasing the temperature. We were at 69. We're gonna take this thing and peg it out so that we can literally increase the temperature. And we've got it set on 85 degrees. That's as hot as it'll set. It'll set. And what that'll do is it'll drastically increase the rate of respiration of the bugs. So folks, this is a winter-based treatment. And what we're, we're down in the basement. Well, there may not be any bed bugs in this basement, but we still want to take this basement to really toxic levels because some of the intake air will get drawn into the furnace through the Venturi effect. So what we recommend doing is removing the furnace filter from the furnace. remember to check your major appliances, stoves, ovens, washers, and dryers to, before during, doing an ozone treatment. We want to make sure all these big, uh, huge hogs of electricity and users of heat uh, are not being run in the presence of high levels of ozone gas. It's just a precaution, folks, but it's something you always want to make on your checklist to tick off. Check the heavy appliances, ovens, uh, stoves, washers, and dryers. It's a, it'll be a, it could potentially save you down the road, but it's really there just as a precaution. 
what we're going to show you now is how we lay out a job. So this is an old, typical um, 1920s to 1940s five-era home. And we've got very small rooms in, the, in a clustered layout. So in this case, what we've done is, since we inspected our couch and we found out the couch was laden, we put a machine inside the couch blowing the gas from the inside out. Now we have another large machine stationed in the center of this room. And in this treatment, every single machine that we use is going to be on the 45 degree angle setting. That 45 degree angle setting takes the gas and shoots it up to the ceiling and then it sucks it back down again, creating convection currents of ozone gas throughout the structure. And when we, after we've taken that to really high levels, we will pressurize the home using the ozone pressurization machine to force that gas into the voids. Now, we're going to show you we have another machine set up here. There's another little front room here. And we've got this set up to blow gas into that room and this room, which we've verified are full of bugs. Coming off to the left here, you'll see that we have another bedroom. So what we have done again in this bedroom is we have positioned another machine on the 45 degree angle setting. We have a, the customer has removed the, or I should say the, the person who we volunteered to do the job for has removed the bedding from the beds. And because these are just mattresses stacked on the floor, we want to increase the surface area that ozone is able to circulate around. So we're going to tip these mattresses and box springs up on their sides. And So folks, anytime you've got mattresses that are just laying flat on the ground, what we like to do is we like to stack the mattresses up against the, on their sides. And this way we can create an air path for the gas. We're going to set this machine in this bedroom on its 45 degree angle setting and just blast that gas, creating convection currents throughout this room. There'll be no place to run and no place to hide. So we've got another uh, awkwardly laid out area. We've got a machine on the 45 degree angle setting blowing into the bathroom. We've got another one around the corner here in the kitchen area. And this is going to be filling this whole kitchen area, getting massive convections going on the first floor. And then we have several more machines upstairs in the rest of the bedroom areas where we identified the bugs. So we're in the upstairs bedroom and we've again got another machine in this vet bedroom on the 45 degree angle creating the convections. We're again going to stand up the mattresses and the box springs. Watch those bugs run. And we'll just allow these to take a little bit of movement of air with this gas circulating in this room. And again when we get done there'll be no place to run, no place to hide. So this is a case where the tenant did not follow instructions. And the preparation instructions were no bedding on the beds and no loose articles of clothing on the floor. So what we're going to have to do in this case is we're going to bag this uh, bedding up and they'll have to do a high heat laundry at the end. We've got one of our big machines circulating the gas throughout this room, again creating a convection of air on that 45 degree angle setting. There happened to be a fan in this room, so we decided to turn it on. Again, the more air movement we can get, the more circulation, the more we can guarantee there's no place to run, no place to hide in this treatment. We'll go ahead and pull open the dresser drawers in the various areas, and we'll go, we're gonna start blasting. This will be a five and a half hour gas treatment.